graduates of the Great Crane Project. For four centuries, these native birds disappeared from British shores. But now they're back and leaping for joy. Wild sourced eggs were hatched at the Slimbridge Wetland Centre in Gloucestershire. Eight years later, a record 54 pairs have produced 25 chicks. Although humans devised this programme, they made sure they always dressed in camouflage grey when feeding the birds or handling them, to try and look like big cranes. It must have worked because they're now breeding in the wild on wetlands, including the Somerset levels. We're incredibly pleased, incredibly proud of the cranes, you know, the birds that we reintroduced by hand, which are now breeding, but also the work that's gone on across the UK with the native population. Uh, it's an incredibly exciting time. In Norfolk, staff at the Pensthorpe Nature Reserve have created an environment that provides the privacy and protection cranes need to nest. The last time we had some over in August, there, was fifth, there were 15 flying over, and I think because we've got the captive cranes here, they do sometimes get called in. So far it's only been visitors, but they believe that will change. Reed beds and wetlands are crucial for the successful breeding of cranes. It was the decision to drain large stretches of them more than 400 years ago that's largely to blame for their disappearance from the British landscape. It also helps they're no longer hunted and eaten as part of medieval banquets. Instead, birds like these that couldn't be released into the wild are a popular attraction. Why do we need them back in Britain if they're all over Europe? Why do we have to have them here? Have you ever seen a crane in flight? Have you ever seen a group of cranes in flight? I mean, it's quite magical. I mean, and all over the world, these birds are revered in quite a spiritual sense, really. They're just, they're just incredible. The hope is that the crane population will once again take off in Britain, giving far more of us a chance to glimpse these iconic creatures. Juliet Bremner, News at 10, Norfolk.